Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Proofwork Solutions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning WordPress hook tutorial for beginners and this is our part number 24. In this video session guys, we will discuss about custom action hook with plugin and this is the second part of our custom action hook. And also guys, if you are a beginner to this channel then please don't forget to subscribe and keep watching our previous video sessions to get a clear concept about WordPress hook tutorial. So basically guys, in our previous video session means number part number 23 we have discussed about that how can we develop our custom action hook where we had discussed about three different functions of WordPress okay so just back to editor so if we go to page dot PHP page so inside this page guys we have used our custom action hook called OWT TXT call this is the action hook that we have developed in our previous video session so if you go to the definition section of this action hook so inside functions.php file we have defined that so just scroll down so this is the action hook guys we have defined right here so we are getting the id this is called page id and now we have passed that id while calling this action hook so inside this video session guys we are going to remove this function call from this function.php page to our plugin section okay so now just go to plugins folder so inside this plugins folder guys i'm going to create a new plugin so just i'm going to click let's say that this is called owt let's say that custom hook okay so this is the folder that we have created now inside this folder let's create a php page so let's say w let's hook dot php okay and also let's include a prefix let's say custom okay just save this page so now inside this plugin file guys i have to pass actually we have to pass some of the comment section to introduce our plugin okay so let's say that first parameter let's say plugin name so this is basically owt custom hook okay so let's author something called online web tutor description so let's description this is sample plugin for study okay so just save this page so if you go to browser reload this section go to plugin section inside this plugin section I think that and now this is the plugin so far we have developed okay so what we want we want to that we are going to just cut this all the function details from function.php page and now we are going to move all this functionality to our plugin page okay so just I'm going to paste all these sections here so after pasting this code guys just save this file go to browser just click on pages section and now I'm going to open this test online page okay so basically inside this page guys actually we have called our custom action hook if you go to editor as you have remembered that here we have actually called so why not actually it outputting the result because as we know that we have moved all the codes from function.php page to our custom plugin okay and now at this moment our plugin is actually not activated okay so if you go to plugin section now it is deactivated okay so if I click on activate button now if I reload this page as we can see that all the details right here again if I go to plugins list deactivate that reload this section and now all the details has gone so basically guys the main concern is that if you want to make any custom plugin or any custom actually action hook filter hook you can actually separate all those functionality by the help of a plugin so that in future if you have deactivated your plugin then now the default features actually you can provide by the help of this plugin to your theme or plugin section you can disable all the things by a single unit just suppose that we have developed a theme and now inside that theme actually we have used called hundreds of our custom action hooks okay so if we want to disable all our custom hooks then what actually we want to do we have to just make a plugin and now inside that plugin actually we have to define all the action hooks that we have defined to our theme structure so that in future if we want to disable all the features then in future just we have to deactivate only a single plugin not actually get rid of all the codes that we have written inside functions.php page so this video session is guys just simple separation of code from functions.php page to a separate plugin 
okay all the things remain same just again I'm repeating by using this add action by using this has action and to action by the help of these three functions only actually we can make our custom call to our custom action hook and now by calling this action hook you can actually make your own custom code inside this function call in which actually you can perform different different functionality right now actually we have performed by getting this page ID we have actually returned all the details of page ID let's understand one more example inside this video session just we're going to make a plugin and now in by the help of this plugin guys we're going to register a menu page this menu system actually menu page contains one more sub menu okay and now in future suppose we are going to make our add-ons of that plugin so by activating those add-ons actually we are going to add some of the custom sub menu pages inside this menu page okay so how can we actually we can actually manage all the things in future too okay so let's say that so this is a plugin actually this is our parent plugin okay so inside this parent plugin guys we are going to make our menu page okay so let's say function let's add let's say parent menu okay so inside this function let's say that add menu page okay so basically this is a WordPress function it will take some of the parameters so let's say that sample hook okay so this is just copy that this is page title next we have to give our menu title now next we have to pass call capability so this is should be manage options so manage options next parameter we have to pass called the menu slug okay so let's say sample plugin next parameter we have to pass the callback function name okay so now we are not going to pass any callback function right now okay so just I'm going to pass called false value here okay so this is the menu that we have developed so if we save this page just go to browser first we have to activate that so while activating so and also we actually we have not attached this function with our action hook called so let's add action and basically to make any menu page we have to attach with called admin menu okay this is WordPress provided action hook okay so just copy this function name and paste inside this second parameter okay so let's save this page reload this section and now we have a menu page okay so this is the parent menu page actually developed by this plugin Okay. now next we are going to add one more sub menu inside that so let's say that so to add sub menu so we have a function called add sub menu page so let add sub menu page so let's say menu or it should be sub menu one okay so before that we have to pass the parent slug so this is a slug that we have defined so just copy that paste it here and now in the second path third parameter we have to pass called the submenu title okay next we have to pass the capability manager so let's that manage options again we are not going to pass any callback function so false value for this also so let's say false so just save these pages and now we have one menu and one submenu so just go to browser reload this section and now by hovering that we can see that this is the if I zoom that so scroll down and now inside sample hook we have one menu page this is the menu and this is the sub menu we have developed okay so suppose in future we are going to make some of the add-ons of this plugin so we want that by activating those add-ons plugin we are going to add our own custom sub menu pages inside this menu okay so let's make that just we're going to create another plugin so let's say plugin so this is OWT let's say OWT let's add on of our custom hook okay this is add on plugin so inside this folder let's create a PHP page so let's OWT called add on dot PHP okay so inside this page first of all we have to define some of the comment section so let's say that plugin name and this is add on of custom hook okay and let's author this should be called online web tutor and something called description let's say that this is add-on of parent plugin called WP custom hook 
okay so these are the things that we have passed and now this is a child plugin this is a child plugin basically use this parent plugin we want that we're going to register one sub menu but now that sub menu actually come from its child add-ons okay so inside this plugin let's say that function so let's add menu to parent okay so add menu to parent so this is a simple function that we have made and now by calling this function we have to pass let's say that add action called admin menu and in second parameter we have to pass the callback function okay so inside this function we have to define our sub menu page okay so basically add sub menu page first parameter it will take the parent slug okay so basically as we know that this is so just go to parent plugin page and now this is called the parent slug so just copy that go to this page paste it here so in the second parameter we have to pass the called the page title okay so let's say sub menu to okay so this is sub menu to just copy paste this is called the menu title means sub menu title next we have to pass called the capability manager so this should be something called manage options in the next parameter we have to pass called the sub menu page slug so basically here we have actually forgot to add so this is called sub menu sub menu page and this should be one okay this is called the slug of this sub menu in the next we have to pass called the sub menu sub menu and let's say two next we have to pass the callback function so right now we are not going to pass so just save this page and now here we have defined our second sub menu so just back to browser now reload this page now we have one more add-on plugin so this is child plugin and basically here we have parent plugin okay so while activating while activating this plugin guys actually basically we are going to add one more sub menu inside this sample hook so right now inside this parent menu we have only one sub menu which we have added by this parent plugin okay so just activate that while activating if you go to the sample hook now we have two sub menu so basically this sub menu two we have registered by the help of this add-on plugin so once we deactivate that so if you go and now as we can see that we have only one sub menu again activate that sample hook and now we have two sub menu so basically guys here we have to understand a clear concept is that how can we separate the functionality of plugins add-on by add-on okay so if you back to editor so basically inside this parent plugin guys we have our custom action hook okay as we know that as we have defined so if we want to use this action hook in our child plugins then we can actually also use that in future suppose we have made a parent plugin and now if we have made five add-ons of that plugin so basically by using separate plugins code we can actually reuse this custom action hook code so basically guys by the end of this video session actually we understood about that how can we separate our custom action hook codes and also we have seen that how can we make our child add-ons and how can we communicate with our parent plugins okay so if you have any doubts in this video session guys then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching have a great day